Thanks for joining us for Issues and Answers. I'm Ian Boyne. We are looking again at the Citizen Security and Justice Program, an important social intervention program that is operating in 50 communities and eight parishes across Jamaica. Already this program has directly impacted the lives of 20,000 uh, young people. The program was uh, started in 2001 and is, is largely funded through uh, international partnerships. The communications and social marketing coordinator, Patrice Neview, is back with us. And we thank you for your company. Patrice, good to have you uh, Great to back. Be here. First, let's find out how does one, there are people watching us who might know of somebody who is in need of this program, might know of a, a young person who needs direction, who needs intervention, might know of uh, you know, a, a young girl in the community who has come under bad influence and might be um, going in the direction of early pregnancy and an intervention from your organization could help. How does that person, go about contacting you and how do people usually hear about your program to be involved <laughs> well uh, well first of all we actually have a because we're in the 50 communities we have our feet and hands and ears on the ground oh, in so terms of our community community groups, yeah. community groups. Yeah. however we have a referral system now so not only does the individual who needs the the assistant can come directly to us, but it entities, agencies, the police can refer okay. um, a, a youngster to I the CSJP, see. the direct the Department of Corrections, a community group mm. can once you're in within our community, one of our fifty communities, can refer someone to the CSJP. Also, we have. Um, our offices, we have, an of, we have an office at 6 Oxford Road. We are, we're also at 28 Church Street, Montego Bay. We're in Maypen and Spanish Town. We have regional offices regional there. Offices. We're on Facebook, because everybody's okay. on Facebook. Yes. We also, but you can you can search the web for us. We're, we're available. Mm -hmm. Our main number is 906-9644, or they can get in touch with this, yeah. the producers afterwards. But, but state but agencies refer State agencies people. actually can refer us. There is a referral form once they get in touch with us they can they can fill out the form uh, because many times truth be told a youngster who is most in need of our program might not realize that they need the program yes. or might not even know about That's the true. program so we're working along question. with our partners mm -hmm. guidance counselors at schools oh. the list goes oh. on we, you can refer someone to the CSJP also, once the person is referred, they go. They then go through a screening process and a risk assessment. Oh. And depending on their level of risk, we then have a treatment plan for them. If it is that they are relatively low risk but not to be neglected, we yeah. will refer them out to some of our partnering agencies because maybe they might not need the full services I of the CSJP, see. but maybe we might have partners. For example, National Council on Drug Abuse. Maybe it's the Ministry of Labor, yeah. Heart Trust NTA. There might be other entities that we can refer them to mm -hmm. and where their services, which would have services best suited for them. So that everything doesn't have to be dealt with by your staff? No, because technically, <laughs> you, you can the, imagine the level yes. of demand mm -hmm. for the program. And uh, we would not be able to fill all the demand. Uh, and to be quite frank, we don't have all the answers. Mm -hmm. We have some pretty good ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we do have a pretty good package that we, uh, of our suite of services that we offer. Mm -hmm. However, we obviously have to depend on our partners as mm -hmm. well. Or so. We what we what we do we we try to make it as relevant what we offer as relevant to the individual as possible, and not neglecting the fact that other entities, agencies, mm -hmm. ministries might have what is best suited mm -hmm. for this youngster. That's why the risk assessment process is very important, important. and our community case management team is is integral in this process. Yes. We're looking at the social intervention program of the Citizen Security and Justice Program, CSJP, an important uh, program of the state with um, international funding uh, largely. 
that is making an impact in communities across uh, Jamaica. We take a break, but we'll be right back. I'm young, gifted, and violence free. I will stand up for peace. No matter what you say, you can't take that away. I'm young, gifted, and violence free. I choose to live. I choose to be me. Welcome back. Patrice Neview is the Communications and Social Marketing Coordinator at the Citizen Security and Justice Program, which falls under the Ministry of National Security. Uh, Patrice, what would you say to those cynics who say that Jamaica still has a high crime problem, especially in, in certain communities where you have been working? So, Social intervention has been there, but it has not managed to solve the crime problem. Therefore, what is the benefit of this social intervention? Well, firstly, I would ask them to think what would have happened had it not been for programs like the Citizen Security and Justice Program because... Things would have been worse. Things would definitely have been worse because when you're looking at addressing the highest risk, individuals with the highest risk of either offending or re-offending, we're, we're, we're looking at, we're showing would-be criminals. Mm -hmm. Another way, we're re-socializing youngsters. We don't want to guess how many lives would have been lost yes. in the life, in the, in, in the career span yes. of a gunman, yes. <laughs> you yes. know? Yes. But apart from that, I would say that this program is actually, as a program of the Ministry of, of National, National Security. Security, and also part of it implemented by the Ministry of Justice, Justice, that this is a government approach and it is one in many approaches, mm -hmm. right? So there's also, the, there's the crime containment, there's the crime prevention. Yeah. There's also, for example, legal aid, which is from, with the Ministry of Justice, where youngsters who might not be able to advance in terms of their labor market attachment might not be able to get a job because there are cases that need to be solved, they are, they, they are in need of representation. Maybe there are some times too that person might have, might have records or might, because they're not aware of how to behave under the law or their rights under the law, many, they are disenfranchised. Now this program, by bringing these services to youngsters within communities is actually preparing them preparing Jamaica for, um, uh, for a safer society and also having taken away the sub reducing the supply chain mm -hmm. of, of cr for crime and violence, we are actually making a positive impact in that light mm -hmm. because we're thinking of what is, but we would dread to think of what could have been mm -hmm. and we, have the de we definitely have tangible, we have results, we, have Im we, we know that we have many individuals who are testament to the fact mm -hmm. that they were or could have mm -hmm. been. So in you have actual life. cases. You're not we have, you're no. not speculating. You know no. of cases of people who who have run afoul of the law. We have were many incarcerated, cases, yes. have changed, and are were going a down that route. And not only have changed and just going about life as usual, but, but are, are impacting are others, impacting others mm -hmm. and are part of the solution now, mm -hmm. right? So when you have someone who was a notorious criminal, yes. who was a, a gang leader. Mm -hmm. You know, you not only control your actions, but the actions of so many others. Mm -hmm. And when you have this person who, first of all, is no longer in the gangster life, but apart from that, is also part of the solution, positively impacting other young men. So it's, it's, it's the same leadership qualities, mm -hmm. but no, they're utilizing those leadership qualities for something more positive. No, you, you, cannot, um, you cannot deny the positive effects that will come from yes. that. And I do believe that, you know, funny enough, I believe that civil society or the regular Jamaican needs to see their role in this whole crime prevention process. Speak more on that. Because a company, a, a private sector company should, should begin to realize that employing a youngster from the inner city 
is actually reducing the supply chain for mm -hmm. crime and violence. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a, a form of, it is actually securing their business. Yes. And we're not talking about any extortion That's thing, right. no, you know. It's we're talking about the extortion. fact that mm -hmm. we're preventing yes. this sort of, of behavior because when someone is gainfully employed, positively occupied, mm -hmm. this person has no time mm -hmm. to, 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 to be going on the wrong side of the law because at the end of the day, once they can fulfill their needs, and mm -hmm. the needs of their families, mm -hmm. they'll be okay. And there are some middle class persons, Patrice, who say, they probably don't really want to no, no work, man. A lot of them irredeemable. <laughs> you don't hold to that view. No, you are in those communities. We some of those fellas, they really want it. They want an alternative to the crime. They do. They need an alternative to the crime. You know, some youngsters who have come through our program have actually even described our program as oxygen or I having so. had saved their lives. They've saved their because lives. Because many times, to being involved in these gangs, it's not that they really want to be a part of a gang, but that is the family that they know. Mm -hmm. That is the social group that has, draw, has drawn them in. No, when you have a program at the CSJP which, which, which exposes them to life skills, parenting education, exposes them, brings them back to school, even gives them a stipend to ensure that they have lunch money and bus fare to get to school, provide them with the uniforms, right? After they have gained their skill, we then place them in an internship program to gain the, 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 the requisite job um, skills, experience. job experience. Mm -hmm. And then when a company sees them and they, they're like wow we have the Marriott the recently built Marriott yeah. has at least nine of our CSJP mm -hmm. program beneficiaries um, in terms of the construction of that hotel yes. as well there were five youngsters who were part who did their internship with the construction firm mm -hmm. and uh, since then those five have gained permanent employment yes. with the firm so it is given and a number of persons over the years have gained permanent employment right? many we, we have over a thousand youngsters now who have gained permanent employment directly directly because of the efforts of the CSJP and there are many whom who would have gone through university uh, who have gotten other opportunities okay. by the program who independently sought jobs for themselves oh. so that thousand is not yes. even counting those individuals and uh, the good thing is that uh, the, per the, the, the companies that take on our youngsters they can attest to the fact that these youngsters are cream of the crop a matter of fact, the head of JPS has, has high regards for the, our CSJP beneficiaries. That's why they did one, one round of the internship with 20 youngsters. The second time around, they took 45. <laughs> so that speaks yes. to the, the ethics, the work mm -hmm. ethics of our youngsters. That well. speaks, yes, it speaks to the program that we've prepared We've, mm -hmm. we've actually prepared these youngsters for the world of work. And it, it also, it will quiet the persons who, or it will actually appease, at least, the persons who say, not now, go on, because mm -hmm. you know that's a very popular mm -hmm. term. What the CSJP is here to show that something is happening, a lot is happening. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of National Security, the Ministry of Justice, and all other relevant ministries, the government of Jamaica is actually, and has been doing, carrying out a myriad of interventions that are that is addressing the crime problem and i i think the opportunity is for every jamaican to as we would say give a youth a chance excellent yeah. excellent uh, <laughs> summation the very articulate communications and social marketing coordinator at the citizen security and justice program uh, patrice nephew uh, speaking to us about the interesting things taking place under this program and the kinds of positive changes which have been wrought by it. The government is uh, intervening. The government is making an, an impact in important ways in taking a multifaceted approach to crime control. We thank you for your company. Next week I'll be back. Until then, Ian Boyle wishing you a pleasant day. Mm -hmm.